this is Alan with Kingdom Cab, and we've got some people from, uh, uh, where are you from? Seattle from? area. Seattle? And uh, let's say, go with your name. What's your name here? Uh, Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve? Yeah, Steve. And Darlene. Darlene. Connie. Connie. Connie and David. And David. All right. So they're here for a pastor's conference. So what's that all about? Exactly. Well, I guess it has to do a lot with coming together once a year to be refreshed and encouraged. And, uh, Direction. Trained. And, yeah. As a denomination. I, spread, so. Which denomination are you, by uh, the way? Foursquare. Foursquare. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. I said, it's probably, you know it's not as big in the U.S. as it is. Right. Although Hawaii certainly yeah, has foursquare churches. Do you guys do you guys believe the King James Bible's word of God? I've read it from cover to cover. All right. That's the Holy Bible. That's the one. I, that's the Bible I I read. Yeah. I've read a lot. I used, I used to read a lot of different versions, but now I, I come back to what I believe is the Word of God, uncorruptible, uncorrupted one. But. Anyway, yeah, so you guys are meeting about 3,000 people, you said? Yeah. It's been done. It's over with. Oh, it's already over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was this past week. So now we can go surfing, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, All right. Or at least enjoying life a little bit. So, so the four square, what, what the, that denomination, what makes that separate from like a Catholic or a Baptist or a Pentecostal? Well, it, it is Pentecostal. It is Pentecostal. Yeah. Um, it... You know, it started back like in the 1920s. There were a lot of craziness going on among Pentecostals, and it was meant to add. Ba the word foursquare means balance. Okay. So it was it was meant to add some balance to uh, just people going nuts and doing anything they they felt moved upon to do. So, right. but it's it's very much Bible based, and uh, we we just we just don't practice cessationist theology. That, right. That uh, excludes, you know, any Holy Holy Spirit kind of stuff out of the Bible. Tongues, interpretation, laying on of hands. Yeah. You know, healing. Yeah, yeah we, we actually believe the, the whole Bible's valid. Right. <laughs> as I do as well, my friend. Oh, good. I, I teak and sponge myself. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of tongues, teak and sponge. Anyway, yeah, when I first got saved in 94, it was in a small church fellowship called lighthouse fellowship but they, he was preaching from the king james and he was they were doing they had on their little flyer you know they, you might see this you know they had tongues and slain in the spirit like little you know explanation of what this might be and then they had like, scriptures to back it up and stuff so that was my initiation into christianity was in that for about a solid year or so i went to that church and uh yeah, I was on fire for the Lord, preaching the gospel out in the streets. Right away, I was telling, telling all my friends about Jesus, you know. And That's great. I got, you know, I went through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you know, that, that little ceremony laying out of hands. And then I got water baptized first, and then went through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, spoke in tongues with the preacher, you know, laying my, his hands on me. And, uh, yeah, I, I believe, you know, you go forth in power by the Holy Spirit. But then over years, I, after a while, I you know I backslid a couple times, you know, and then I came back and I went to different churches. I got into Calvary Chapel for a long time. Uh huh. They kind of they believe in the gifts. It was kind of you know Chuck Smith. Sure. I'm sure, you know all about it. And did that for many many years. And uh, yeah, I just I mean I even got into you know they're looking at the Greek and the Hebrew and the new versions how they kind of interpret it or whatever. And then. Uh, about four years ago, I got I saw a video online of a street preacher guy named Jesse Morrell, and he had a, he had this video called you know refuting the lawless gospel antinomianism. Yeah, I never heard that word. So, but yeah. anyway, I got in. I, it got me back into wanting to go out and preach the gospel on the streets. It got me back towards the King James Bible, and uh, just yeah been on fire for about, I mean, at least several years, you know, trying to get out and just evangelize, you know, full steam, you know. Well, and, it's, uh, it's great that you uh, are willing to preach the gospel. That's, you know, a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, going out into where the lost people are, where they're publicly sinning and put the gospel out there, you know, where it needs to be, you know. Instead of just keeping it in a building, you know, with all the Christians, and then you invite your friends. Because there's some people, they're never going to go to a church building, they're never going to read a gospel track, they're no, never going right. to read the Bible. 
but when you preach it in their ears, yeah, that, that's Bible. You know, the Bible says it please God by the foolishness of preaching to save them which believe. And uh, you don't see much of that open air preaching, but it is a, a, a really growing movement because of Facebook and the YouTube videos. Yeah, if you go online and go on YouTube and put in a street preacher. You, you can link, I have friends all over the world now that are really getting into the street preaching movement. So we were told Sand Island was near the airport. That not yeah, true? it's right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the airport was right there. It's kind of like right around the corner here. So, just the other side of the river here. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping we, we weren't going to Oregon. You know? No. Yeah. <laughs> little place is kind of like tucked away in a like, the, like around the boat docks and the industrial area out here but you know it's a cool little restaurant yeah somebody said they had, actually had good food and good yeah. price yep I actually have not eaten there but I, I hear good reviews one day I'm gonna eat there yeah I'm sure yeah there's so many restaurants here it's like yeah it's crazy oh yeah Eat out every day. Hey, there's McDonald's. We can save a little money and eat. There that. you go. Might not be as good. McDonald's. That's right. Right. These these churches right here are called New Hope. You ever heard of those? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's, I think that might even be Foursquare. I think they are. You're right. Yeah, I think they are. Is that Wayne Cordero? Wayne Cordero. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're real big. He, 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 he's an amazing Yeah, preacher. he's he's Hope Chapel. Yeah. Ralph Moore. Oh, yeah, I've Hope been to all their churches, yeah. yeah. Seen all their churches, yeah. Yeah, not not everybody likes big churches, but yeah. you know, they, they serve the purpose. You know, they, yeah. they help they help draw people in. A lot of times people end up in smaller churches after a couple of years. Yeah. So yeah. They go in there and get initiated and end up doing like what you do, you know, go out and yeah. get involved in something more personal yeah 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 you have to go through those phases I think through in your walk with God I mean I've gone I, I went through the old the, you know through the stage where I wanted to go to these big mega churches and I was I've been a counselor at a Billy Graham crusade you know that's yeah. I mean you can feel the power and the love you know and then the drawing God uses all of it I think, but in the, at the end of the day, you know, a, a truly a person is truly saved when they come to God, as a, and they realize I deserve hell. You know, I deserve to go to hell. I mean, that's, well, that's right. And what does Jesus save us from? You, you can't come to God in self righteousness. Let, you know, I've been a good person, but Jesus is gonna. I, I've been pretty bad a little bit, but I've been mostly good. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that for the bad things that I did do, Jesus died for me. You know, they don't really get that they deserve hell. You know, because. Jesus wouldn't die unless they deserved hell. And, but you know, some of us that have been I, uh, come from a, a life of really hardcore crime. You know, I got saved when I was 24 after a lot, a lot of sin. So you know, I really love the Lord. Doesn't mean I'm any better than any of the guy that just didn't sin much. I, I wish I, I would, I wish I could say I went to church my whole life and I didn't sin that much. I never did drugs or whatever. But yeah. Well, Jesus came for the sick. Yeah, that's yeah. Mark, Mark two seventeen. Amen. This is it right here. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Are you, Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. You sure you guys want to walk in and check it and maybe maybe. Uh... No, we'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're we're adventurous. We, you know, we, we fight the devil. We fight. Hold on to that. That's got my number. Okay. One for you. One for you. Everybody, grab one. It's got my number. Yeah. Friend me on Facebook and uh, you know check out the Kingdom Cab YouTube channel. We'll have you on there. Okay. All right. God bless.